Hey everybody, Scott here with Founding Champions, and today I have another deck tech for you. So now this deck is a Celestine Prime deck, and I'm calling it Counter Burn right now. And I don't know if that name's going to stick, but it could just be called Celestine Prime Control, Order Control, something like that. But here we go, we got one Celestine Prime. We have one Night Heralder. Two. Loki and Prince. As you can see, uh, th these two guys will be reducing rend. Um, when I say reduce rend, I mean to zero. So they're going to ignore any rend across from him uh, from the highlighted units. So it's not going to protect you from rending spells or abilities. But you're going to see how that comes into play real soon. I have played this list on... Uh, the internet quite a bit so you are seeing a very tweaked and tested list from me uh, there there I, I believe there are improvements that can be made so uh, and if you're looking for a list that beats this list well I'm pretty sure you can find that fairly easily however most lists are trying to deal a lot of damage in a short period of time or they're trying to deal a lot of damage in key bursts and if you can control the field and you know see when they're going to try and burst that damage on you You can reduce the damage quite a bit gain some life and win the game so that's the point of the deck uh, we're gonna go with Stormforge never having to draw cards again it's pretty good healing storm very crucial usually nobody plays healing storm because it's usually pretty bad but when you're reducing damage gaining life after that is really really good abjuration Dormant's the field, 2 damage. Um, if you flip this over against Destruction, uh, it slows them down because uh, it's usually their primary source of damage. Uh, my Gen Con list did run a lot of abilities that did damage, but I, I'm seeing a lot of people not doing that. Uh, Divine Blast, also great at uh, just getting our opponent dead and giving us 2 health. Every point of health uh, really matters in this list because of how much reduction we can do. All right, now on to the units. Three, Hurricane Raptors. All right. Three, Long Strike Raptors. Three, Storm Strike Fulminator. An iconic card for uh, Counter Burn, so we're countering their damage by one in each of these top corners and then hitting them for four. Three, Platin Decimators, just a solid beat stick. One, Platin Protector, a good hoser against death. Three, Achillean Barrier Guards, the only non-Stormcast unit in the list. It's good counter burn, reduces by three, which is huge, and it's highlighted enemies. So it's going to count for their um, spells, abilities, and units. Uh, and in the app, it does reduce the um, blessings. Um, so I, I don't know if that's intended or not, but I think that's how that works. And then we're going to nug them for two. It rotates the last objective on our Lokian Prince. Two, Righteousness. I really wanted this to be at three, uh, just because of the theme of the deck, but through playtesting, I realized that two is better. Two, Mystic Shield. Same uh, principle applies with this card, because the other cards to cut starts to look like units, and we don't want to really cut too many units. They're very unit heavy. Our Prime, uh, Heraldor, and Loki and Prince, they all rotate their first request on a unit of some type. Uh, Triumphant Smash, outstanding card, especially when you remove a unit across from a long strike Raptor. We have two, Lord of the Host. Restarting units is really good, especially when Platin Decimators can do six damage total. Or gaining life and using more damage reduction by getting back on that damage reduction corner. And completing the last objective on Celestine Prime. Two, Gift of Sigmar. This can gain you quite a bit of life. Um, I once used it to gain, uh, what was it, like, what's the max? Nine life or something like that? Um, 
so the way I did that was I played Plaid and Decimator and Longstrike Raptors and um, uh, Fulminators and stuff like that. So since the Plaid and Decimator stays around, the Longstrike Raptor stays around for a long time, you can be able to do that on the third turn before they go away. Three tactical formation. Want to be able to control that field? Uh, it draws us, draws us a card. Um, I I was debating between piercing strike or piercing shot, whatever that is, because uh, it's just easier to use. However, drawing that card and making sure my Lokian Prince is in the right spot is very very helpful. Um, also, Celestine Prime. You don't want him across certain other champions that I've come across that are like wizard hosing champions. So you don't want to be across from those guys. So. Tactical Formation at 3, Outstanding Card. And that's the list, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any improvements, comments, uh, or concerns, go ahead and post that in the comments. And, uh, guys, thanks for watching.